There are a ton of people online and on YouTube and other social media platforms trying to convince you that you can make money off of AI. The truth is no, you cannot make money off of AI. I see three things here. Number one, there are folks saying that, oh, you can generate images or you can generate some content based off of AI. But believe me, that is not a long-term solution because every platform, including YouTube, will start putting up some restrictions on how you use AI content. So number one, no, you cannot make money off of AI as simple as that. Getting into AI is hard. It's not a simple task. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of time developing your skills and applying for jobs to actually start earning from this skill. By the way, I'm making this video because there's one thing that's really bothering me that I see a lot of videos and advices where people say, oh, you know, you don't you don't need to know too much about AI to make money off of it. And that's not true. So I'm making this video to share my opinions. But at the same time, I want you to share your opinions as well. What do you think about all the other influencers talking about making money off of AI? Because I really don't believe it's that simple. And especially when it comes to prompt engineering, I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, you know, one way you can help this channel is by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel because that goes a long way. So thank you for that. I know that there are many new companies, startup companies that are coming up that are applying AI methods or artificial intelligence methods. For example, using LLMs to help you write code or other generative AI methods to help with solving a problem or generating images, for example. Um, and I can talk about Midjourney as an example here, but these are not methods that will help you and help you earn money in the long run. That's not how it works. If you really want to get into AI, start by learning three things and mastering three important skills. Number one, get good really good at programming. Number two, learn about machine learning, everything, the theory behind it, some math behind it, at least a little bit that you can understand enough to sustain you. And the third thing is get experience. You need to get experience through either internships or if you're a PhD uh, graduate student like me at one, at one point of time, do a postdoc. So these things add up over time. And this is how you actually get into AI, not by just going and, you know, trying to build an LLM. LLMs are great, don't get me wrong, but it will not solve every problem that's out there. Then I see these jobs like prompt engineering. I mean, what the, what is prompt engineering? That's a rhetorical question. I know what prompt engineering is. Nobody, at least in the next few years, is going to pay you $60,000, $75,000, $100,000 for you to be a prompt engineer. Look, I understand that right now it seems like there is a really high demand, but these are fictitious demand. Believe me, years from now, nobody's going to be hiring anyone for prompt engineering. And the reason is simple. What is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is you just provide instructions to the AI model so that you get the desired outcome from the model. Now, if you ask me, that's just someone who can Google a little bit better than you. So nobody's going to pay you that kind of money so that you can sit and just keep asking questions to an AI chatbot. Believe me, prompt engineering, I know there's quite a lot of hype right now, but it's nothing but in providing instructions to an AI model. So if you really want to know how prompt engineering works, you start with the basics. And anybody who learns machine learning, who actually learns about machine learning, starting from how to code, how to build models, what you need to keep in mind when you're building models in terms of how you split your data, how you train the model, what hyperparameters are, uh, what hyperparameters you need to take care of. If you know some of the theory behind machine learning, you don't need prompt engineering. You don't need someone, uh, or, or if you're an employee or an employer, let's say, you don't need to hire someone to carry out prompt engineering. If you hire someone who can build models, who knows the theory of machine learning, they will do all the prompt engineering that's needed. 
It's not a big job. It will never have career growth. So anytime anyone talks about prompt engineering, do not fall for that trick. And if you haven't noticed by now, what I'm trying to do is encourage you to get into the hard work of learning, actually learning AI and machine learning and getting into this field. So don't fall for baseless advices where people are saying prompt engineering is going to be the next thing. Absolutely not. Now, I could be proven wrong, which I don't see how, but, you know, if I'm proven wrong, so be it. But from where I am right now, what I'm seeing right now, prompt engineering is not a real thing. And look, there are some really big YouTube channels with hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of subscri subscribers talking about things like using AI and how you can get into AI without really providing any concrete details. And there's a lot of them. I'm not gonna name all of them. Uh, I just don't wanna pick a fight with anyone. But look, I myself, I'm learning so much about AI and ML every day. And when I hear about people, other people talk about AI and machine learning, it feels like they know nothing about this field. And believe me, I consider myself as someone still a beginner or an intermediate level because there's just so much um, happening so many developments in AI and ML. And when I see other people making very generic general statements in AI and machine learning, I feel like they know nothing about this field. So just be mindful of that. There are a few channels that are really good that are still small and upcoming. So be very careful and aware of what type of channels you're viewing, because a lot of times just because someone has a lot of subscribers, it might make you think that what whatever they're saying is legitimate, but in reality, it's not. And a lot of people portray that, oh, I have built a six figure business or 10 figure business, whatever. I'm earning millions of dollars every day using AI. I have a company that does AI. Like, what did they do? Ask them simple questions like that. What did they do? What products do their companies provide? And look, genuinely speaking, there might be com companies out there that's providing real value, but you also need to understand that behind every successful company, there is a highly skilled and connected, well-connected network of people, employees who are actually doing the hard work. So be very mindful of that. I mean, nobody's making millions of dollars prompting a chatbot. That's it for today for me. Another video is going to be dropping soon. Uh, and as you can see, I'm struggling with some cold and fever and whatnot. So I'm trying to make this video as informative as possible, especially going into the next year, which can be a big year. It could be a hit and miss. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button to support us. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.